Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. Alyssa Ayres, who served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for South Asia, has said that India doesn't seek to displace others, but wants to be recognized among the club of world powers, whose membership is long overdue. Of the 159, Droof, Advanced Light Helicopter, ordered for 13,799 crore rupees, HAL has to produce only five more. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited plans to transfer the technology of its advanced light helicopters to a domestic defense manufacturer for commercial production. India will help Mongolia to build its first oil refinery. India is also providing a $1 billion credit line to finance the projects. Once the project is completed, it will give an enormous boost to Mongolia's economy. The project will substantially reduce Mongolia's dependence on China, for its energy needs, and bring Mongolia closer to India. The next developmental launch of GSLV Mark III, is in the first half of 2018. Some more launches of GSLV Mark III will be needed, before it gets recognized internationally, as a vehicle for transportation to space. The Defense Ministry has cleared the procurement of P-8I training solution and the low-intensity electronic warfare system. The P-8I training solution, along with 10-year comprehensive maintenance service, will be bought from Boeing for 1,949 crore rupees. After several failed attempts, this time the Indian Army is planning to buy more than 3 lakh rifles and close quarter carbines at a cost of around 10,000 crore rupees through the fast track procurement route. Once approved, international companies including the Israeli weapon industry, American Beretta, Swiss Sig Sauer, and Czech Bren would be contacted. The Indian government recently scrapped a $500 million deal with Israel for the purchase of Spike ATGMs. The order was scrapped as DRDO is on the verge of a breakthrough in the development of indigenous man portable ATGMs, and the final test might be conducted in 2018. The ATGMs developed by DRDO will be equivalent to the American Javelin, and in fact will be lighter than the Javelin. India and Japan, two of the Asia's leading economic powers, are teaming up to counter China's growing prowess in space exploration. Takeshi Hoshino, development manager of Japan Aerospace Agency has said, the initial discussions had begun on establishing common objectives and dividing up work. According to sources, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will present a special gift, the mobile water desalinization and purification jip, to his friend PM Modi during his visit to India on January 14th. Went to the beach today, <laughs> and I want to give you this. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. V. K. Singh, the Minister of State for External Affairs, has said that India and China have agreed to appoint special representatives to explore the framework for a boundary settlement. <laughs> Oh, my God.